Guys, I wanted to show you this plant. This is a new video for my YouTube channel. I got this plant new this year. It was one of the larger plants that I could get. It's a, a really nice and beautiful Trichocerois tacvimbalensis. It's a it's a Bolivian species. And when you get a new plant, it sometimes happens that they aren't used to stronger sun. In my case, I have a, a greenhouse that's that gets full sun all day long. So it was a little bit too bright for it. I um, covered it most of the most of the, the early early spring, but now I took took everything down because I think it needs to get used to it at the at the side where my greenhouse is. It just needs to get needs to take sun, you know. So it'll get used to it. But I wanted to show you this. It's always sunburn looks a little bit like like you know discolorations like the the color is sucked out of the out of the tissue and it's basically burnt this is not a big problem unless it's really really bad you know sunburn can kill and it usually kills through the secondary infections that um, that flush the whole body with toxins the body the plant you know so this will probably heal just fine. I'm not really too worried about it, but I wanted to show you. It usually is on on the on the places where the sun gets first, which which are the ribs, for example. You know, at the top, at the bottom, it's perfectly all right, and it's a typical sunburn damage. You see these very often, and in in few cases, you need to deal with it. Seedlings are very very vulner vulnerable to sun damage and sunburn so if you get something on a seedling that's just a few months old it is normally dead and yeah they turn completely white and die off within months or weeks but yeah larger plants should be able to take a, a stronger sunburn and without big big damages i'll keep you updated how it goes with this guy take care bye